Good morning. How's it going, guys? Hopefully good. <laughs> um, so I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm bringing up her silver tone, and she's a natural level two, as you can see. Very, very dark. Almost black at the root. And here, I've worked very hard on lifting this up and silverizing it. This is what she's faded to, so it's not quite silver anymore. But what I'm going to be doing is bringing it up to a little bit more to her root and blending it. One of my favorite ways of doing this is by creating baby lights. So before I get going any further, I'll just kind of show you what I'm doing. So I've got two foils at the nape on each side of the head, two foils above the ear, and I'm going to do this on the other side. So I'm going to flip this over. So here we have the two foils at the nape, and then I'm going to do two foils on each side. And I'm going in more like baby light style. And as I put her highlight in, sorry, I'm going to move this over a little bit. We got a good spot for it. And I'm highlighting her with OxyCure Platine in 30 volume with uh, the Brazilian Bond Builder inside of it. So what I do is I apply it first, about the first inch out, and then I'll brush it upward this way, toward the head. And that just creates like a nice seamless blend, and it makes it quicker to do it that way instead of tapping it on and going sideways. Um, sometimes doing that just takes more time than necessary. So I'm just trying to help show you guys the ways that I do things so I can make it a little more time efficient when you're trying to get a touch up done on silver. Because the name of the game obviously is lifting her as light as possible without hurting the hair. So if you go one inch out, get it on her regrowth, and then push it up toward her scalp, that creates a nice seamless blend in itself and it just cuts down on timing. But more importantly, two on the nape, two above the ear on each side, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into this part through here. So I'm going to go in at a V. And it's right above her occipital bone. So kind of same thing here. I'm going in slightly larger this time, not quite baby light style, more traditional foil. But if you work on the vertical, it makes it a lot easier for blending. I mean the diagonal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you work on the diagonal. It's good to have like a, a deeper shadow root built into it because if you have silverized blonde sitting on top of dark, it will always, always appear blonder and the fadage of it looks a lot more forgiving. It's not... Like the more solid you have the tone, then the less forgiving the grow out is. And so I am giving myself a little bit of a distance. So I'm going about one inch apart on each section. And I'm working from the bottom up for a reason. I'm working from the bottom up because the foils can get a little heavy with having it more on the runny side and having that Brazilian, the Bond Builder in it, the B3. So if I just stack them on top of each other, it's a little better to do it that way. And I don't know if anyone's joining me this morning, but feel free to ask any questions as I'm going along, if you, especially if you're just joining. And I can't wait to tell you guys what my tone is that I end up toning her with when I'm done. So this is my other little trick that I like to do. Every third foil, I like to go in and just do it as a traditional highlight retouch. And again, the reason why is because I don't want all of my highlights starting at the exact same place.
And yes, they have to be in foils because um, I'm lifting through a level two and I'm trying to get her to a level nine or even lighter <laughs> if possible. <laughs> but level nine is actually what I usually lift her to before I silverize her. And I do use a deeper tone at the root um, and I use a lighter tone at the ends. Now my next two is gonna be the feathered shadow root. going to kind of keep working around the head and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me I'll try to remember to kind of explain my thought process as I'm going along the way just so it's not you blindly watching me foil because I know that can be like watching paint dry sometimes <laughs> so now that I've got a pretty narrow area through here what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start kind of um, I pick a side and I'm start foiling this way so I'm going to start changing my uh, vertical or my diagonal into a vertical, or sorry, into a yeah, into a vertical. Thank you, honey. So my next one, I'm going to do it as a traditional highlight foil. taking my sections about a half inch wide so that now, now that I'm at the top of her head. And I have one last foil here. My foils are getting a little bit tighter just because I've got this whole front piece that I'm going to do separately. So this area gets a little more compact as you kind of switch from diagonal to vertical on the head. I guess she still kind of is diagonal. She's half, halfway between diagonal and vertical. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> She's diagonal. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to do the sides of the face. I'm going to handle the sides of the face the same way I handled the nape. We're going to do two foils on each side of the face. And little baby lights. Cute little babies. Same thing, I'm going about, well I'm going a little closer to the scalp on this one. But same technique, I'm still swiping upward. Same thing with this guy, I'm still going to be doing a feathered retouch, just so I don't have to handle any sort of de demarcation line and it makes the blending 
look a lot more seamless between her natural level two regrowth and the rest of her hair. My other little trick that I like to do, do you guys know this little area right here that never gets highlighted? Sometimes this gets done and then that gets done and then there's this whole area that gets missed. So I go between her, um, the top of her head and this foil through here and I make this my little target zone area. Same thing, I make it a little baby light but it makes a really big difference when she pulls her hair back. small area so I'm gonna go ahead and just feather this one instead of pushing it upward. I always pull the foils away from the face so it's not just sitting right in her eye. Okay and then we're gonna go and do the other side. Baby line right on the hairline, or baby light on the hairline. Try to say that two times fast. Okay, and then we got one more behind that, and I'm doing the same thing a baby light right on the hairline. And then between the top of her um, head, just right where her hairline is, and this foil, I go in at a diagonal. And I make this a little baby light between that, where that dark shadow is. Starting out, like you can see right now, this is on the diagonal. This is the front of her head right here. This is on the diagonal. So I'm gonna start working on diagonal and I'm just kind of pivoting to the face and I'm gonna add, my last foil is gonna be here. So it's gonna go all the way just like this. And then for this one, I will say I take about a quarter inch section now that I'm on the top of the head. So I really like to see it nice and light and bright around the top of the head and toward the face. And then when I get into the back, that's why I leave about a half inch. In I think it's also really important not to feather up at the same place. Like this one, I didn't feather it quite as high as the last one. And then the next one, I can feather it even lower or higher, you know, just like alternating where you're feathering it. So that way it's not all meeting in one, in one place. It just makes for a lot more seamless blend the next time she comes in. take it further a little further down
We are getting down to the nitty gritty. So now you can see I have one more here and then I have one more right here. So I'm boom, boom. And this one I like to get nice and close to the face now that we're round the face. So I will take my time and feather that in vertically with my brush. but it's a very important spot. So again, I always kind of create a little bit of a barrier around her face and then I'll take all these little baby hairs and I'll just get those out of her face and kind of wrap it around those foils. That way she's kind of got like a nice little shield and it's not all sticking in her eyes. And then from each side, I work on the vertical. Oh my gosh, I keep saying vertical. I mean diagonal, sorry. If I say vertical, just assume I mean diagonal. I don't know why that's such a hard word for me. I think I just like saying vertical. <laughs> it's so much more of a fun word to say. Okay, so what I like to do is Basically, I start back through here. So if I pull this out, you can kind of see that she's got like this triangle section. So I'm gonna work through here, here, and then here. So I'm gonna do maybe three to four foils, not a ton. I'm gonna work from the bottom up. and I do the exact same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna have our process after that. So um, we are gonna jump off for a little bit, and I will try to jump back on, so that way I can give you guys a chance to see the full thing. If it gets super crammed and busy and I'm not able to get back on, I promise I will at least put it on my Instagram stories so that I can show you the end results. Um, and then I'll also give you my formula when I silverize her as well. So I'll help you guys out as much as possible. And if you have any other questions, feel free to type it in and I'll get back to you later too. Um, I try to get back to everybody. And if I don't, then just bug me. <laughs> All right guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day, bye.